Then we'll see. A stupid street fight, and you want to dump me in a dungeon with Philippa Eilhart? Ah, we're not animals. A modest contribution to the Order, along with your word of honor that you'll not do this again. A contribution in my word of honor or the dungeon. Hmm. Precisely. Listen, Sir Knight, if you don't shut your fat mouth, I'll start a row that'll make the Battle of Brenna look like a squabble. Bind this madman and lock him up with the witch! <sighs> well done, Geralt. You... here? Not yet, lady. Not yet, lady. Oh, was that the last guy he ate? Huh. Figures. The last guy he ate. Ah, oh, my English is sucks. I wanted to make... Or the last guy to help you out? The end gesture at the skull. That works better. Yeah. I blame it on my uh, lack of sleep, but to be honest, my bra brain has been... Wished. My brain has been sluggish as of late. It's annoying. It was bad anyway, then it feels like it's gotten worse since I stopped quick to cola. I haven't had caffeine in ages. Here's these guys. Wonder how many more. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, we push on. Ooh, somewhere around the corner. Suddenly I'm reminded of the Zima. Armor of Yes. Uh, we heard about this place back in the first game. 24 armor. Um, troll skin. Don't have any troll skin. Turn vitality, 20 reduction to magic, 60 dam. Nice. Much better than this. In terms of resistances, anyway. Key required. Move. Okay, up here. We'll be to Philippa soon. I'm just I'm just working my way through it this way. There we go. Raider, get it. Move, move. Christ, scroll You're gonna smell terrible after this. Rolling in the literal sewers. Up we go. I think we're getting to the end of it soon. Minimal damage, not that's how you know we've gotten much better armor than previous. When the enemies can't even apparently do any damage that's worth noting. Drop down here and go straight ahead. I'll find the way to Philpa. Oh. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty. I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the rebellion, undermining Henselt, risking my own reputation on your behalf. 
I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Merigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. There will be a trial, due process. Everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. So They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torture her. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. your Christ we will talk again which oh, Philippa Island Christ problem has been resolved we must return to camp wait here Excellency we'll scout ahead intruder get him Really? Okay, maybe I should. Either they're meant to spot me, or I step too far too soon. Oh, these are easy. Like I've seriously, the other guys were were harder. Also, I kind of feel bad for Felipe there, because that is horrific. But then the sounds, but at the same time, she's such an ass. Glass Jaw McGee. Glass Jaw McGraw. You're not easy to find. Look what they did to me. Oh. Radovid. To think I taught him magic tricks when he was just a boy. Free me, Geralt. I have to get out of here. Do you hear me? Help me. You'll answer a few questions first. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. Mm. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. 
Half-truths, musings stripped of context, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. I'm thinking she might even be able to heal, fix her eyes if she can get her magic back. But at the same time, I'm not kind of inclined to do so. I'm kind of inclined to kill her, personally. Once she frees Saskia, but at the same time... Can you be certain she'll free Saskia? <laughs> Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. Shit. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. You're mind controlling someone. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes, too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. Oh, I, uh... I wish I knew where her house was, because I feel like if I could get there, it might be illum illuminating. Okay, I saved, I think I saved a moment ago. Um, I can go back to it, and I can come back here if I'm not happy with and that happens. Alright, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me, and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. No tricks, Phil. <laughs> want to get out of here. Don't, don't worry, Groat. I believe that. Can you walk? I'm sure you won't faint on me. I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. Yeah, I don't trust her. Oh, he was slow on the upkeep. Take up. Hmm, good timing. Timing as usual, Yorvit. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? Got the strength to walk, Eilhart? I must find it. What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. Sheila will be in the talks. Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means, but I couldn't miss that opportunity. Okay, so she didn't poison Saskia. She merely capitalized on it to fantastic results. 
Of course, that's assuming we can believe her, and I don't believe her for the slightest. I don't even believe her name's Philippa. She's probably Enrique Cortez. Uh, uh, I can't think of his surname. Enrique Logitech. Yeah, that's actually her name. Yeah. What's Sheila supposed to safeguard? The restitution of the council and conclave, and the creation uh -huh. of a strong, independent state with Saskia as its leader. With what aim? As a bulwark, a defense against Nilfgaard. After years of chaos and destruction, the time has come to build. We wish to rule, yes. Where is the fault in that? Everyone wants to rule. And I know how to do that. Better than any other monarch in this city. You can't hope to win the common folk's trust. Humans will never accept a sorceress queen. Non-humans won't either. Given what that old hag Finderbear has achieved, they all believe in Saskia. They all trust her. The girl is a born leader, yet she has no political instincts. She's charismatic but not cunning, courageous but not fierce. She is just but lacks the required cruelty. She is your very opposite. Perhaps. Together we would be unstoppable. Except it would be solely Philippa with Saskia as a mouthpiece. Saskia, I question, would get any input. Remember, she, Saskia had a guy put to death without a trial, without anything. She just lopped his head off. And while the, according to Dandelion in the book, in the quest log, that's the fair treatment of, you know, a... The, the of a servant of a tyrant it's called result and you know that she would have get offered of you know a trial normally so yeah did you order full test murdered no show it claimed that Triss testified Triss doesn't know what she's talking about the lodge exists and Triss has lost our trust all that is true but Paul Test's assassination? That was not my order. It was Sheila's. How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a dagger with the counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way. She must be struck with surgical precision. Otherwise the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood. And its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous. She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute, we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule, but I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Jorvith, know any way to get to Philippa's quarters unnoticed? Through this sewer. We may encounter monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. <sighs> Fucking tense. There's something in there. I avoided this person. <laughs> Ah. Took me a moment to get the sword out, so I was kind of uh, suffering there. An army of wrath fiends. Shit. Dead? No. Can't take too many more hits. Art. What? Water blocked it. Set 
be free. No. If your dagger fails to work, or Saskia perishes from the blow, you'll be met. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, do you? This place looks just like the last. Same stench, too. Damn it. Any auto saves? Because I kind of cut that off. Hopefully. Be, uh, oh, th I think this is just before the we killed the first wave. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll just take a moment. How did you avoid it? You came from this way. What? Did he climb on the ceiling? Took unnecessary hits there. Right, those greater ruffians are a fair bit larger than the smaller ones. A fair bit bulkier. Have some fire on water. Beautiful. I know you can get that with lava, wait, not lava, uh, with oil, but uh, just, you know, there's oil there. What guarantee do I have that you'll set me free? Some if you s actually use your mouth wouldn't talk. Fails to work, or Saskia perishes from the blow, you'll be next. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, don't you? This place looks just like the last. <laughs> Same he seems to cut her off in either case. I wonder if I'll end up fighting like some giant, um... Oh yeah, this looks like a fucking boss arena. No, no. It's a gauntlet thing, but no boss. I was expecting an even burlier raw feet. Or some, you know, something. Fucking con you know, uh, chain reaction there. Slow down. I can't keep up this pace. The sooner you give us the dagger, the sooner you your wounds. Pain killing spells require focus and precision. I cannot manage one now. Die from the pain then. Rest assured, no one will help you, nor weep for you. Keep moving. I can loot that stuff, but I can't be bothered. Geralt, you best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Neither do I. Okay, let's save. Yeah, I don't like this. Part of me feels like I should have went for Triss. I dealt with all of you. Apparently not. Ooh. Tamarius Crest. Ooh, I got some dragon skills, so I can make that sword. That's fantastic. There is some stuff I don't need. Ooh, notes by Philippa. And see, uh, take her money. There's nothing else in here of lootableness beyond the uh, stuff I don't need. Um, this is apparently notes on the spellbreaker. Um, I can understand though. Um, actually, it's clues on opening the chest containing the spellbreaker. Uh, well, shite. Um, okay, ye, I'll drop five. Perfect. Wonder how many more. Ah, uh, art. 
kill. Done. And now you. Alright. Beautiful. Dimeridian. I can help you. Shut up. Wouldn't trust her. Not in this. Uh, not one. On the slightest. Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes, the very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The dagger's inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I'll light the candles, then we'll remove the dimeridium. Okay, uh, let's look at our notes. Hmm, this is strange. It seems maybe we have to do this twice. Or maybe one of these is right. And we have to figure out which one. Okay. Let's start. You. Let's save. You. You. Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trained mage is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do I'm not liking that stuck in here. Try anything clever and you will die. Okay, do some stupid death over. I'm sure you can manage it. do si do si do you can lift the spell binding her, but you'll never be human. She's more than a dwarf. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself. Face it, Devian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Look out, Geralt! Sorry, I got distracted. Whoa. Christ, that's powerful fire. I think I got hit a second time. I uh, just got kind of distracted. It's like, Christ, am I back on that battlefield from earlier? You're on your own. It's over. I can't. Yard. Hit it. Got it. Move. Yard. Don't know what you're saying. Do it. Guess I'm one wonder, wonder. Is this all just an, an illusion? Illusion, or are these all the other victims of people who've tried to open the chest or something? Or is it just all an illusion kind of thing? Amazing fight, Gwynblade! Get the dagger and let's get out of here! Okay. 
nice dagger. Um, don't know why you're having that bastard sword. Oh, yeah, annoying. Let's hope this blade will do the trick. That was weird. A strange weapon. They both kind of cancelled each other, so we got the back screen. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhard won't tell us anything more. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. You're probably right. Please, don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. Mm. Time to join the talks. I'll go ahead and see what we can expect. Really, I was kind of hoping I could get Triss, and I just leveled up again. Nice. And let us, let us, let us, let us. See what we can to do about rescuing Triss. No, I don't have a quest for it right now. There's an enemy pop up there. But I'm. I know it doesn't feel right to continue without trying to get to her. I saw holes in the rock. Uh, I was thinking maybe that's where he overcame from because he's saying, Oh, I avoided this area, even though that's the only point he could have gone through, you know? And the loot there is gone. This seems unlootable. The other guy's gone. There's a random iron ring. It's locked. Gets. Three ways out. That's to her place. Uh, I wonder if we go this way. Will this lead me where I ah, That might have even led me where I wanted to go. I just want to make sure I get the best ending possible. I'm worried about Triss. Wait. Got turned around. I can we loot these guys? Some horns. Well. That guy. Don't be. Can't seem to be able to. Um, don't seem to be able to loot the other one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like I can enter the other people's camp. So, um... Yeah, it seems like I have no choice but to just deal with uh, Triss later. Boss of the Dragon's about to wreak havoc. Kind of is important. We are going to end up fighting uh, the other lady. Uh, I can't actually remember her name. But we are presumably going to end up having to fight her. And I'm going to do my damnedest not to kill her. Pfft, yes, walk through the door. Let's save. 
So nice the first lever door unlocked. Huh. Her home is just here. Hmm. Renounce magic, I tell you. Shatter your towers and Surprisingly, uh, you know, not like some a small isolated place elsewhere. Also, I have no idea who she was kept referencing there, that monk guy. I wonder what happens if you try the other ways. Like, does it matter? Do, do they all work or what? In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you, indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Hmm. Prince Stennis, the poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demaven III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Hmm. Okay, I can't, to be honest, I feel like I kind of need to watch that again. Because it almost... I'm, I'm kind of lost. It seems to be going one way, then it curves dramatically and goes the other. Like I expect him not. It seems like he, he's talking about a second different guy at the latter case, and the latter part. Those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true, but they were just doing their job. Then they didn't do it well enough. Can we go now? Yes, let's go. Time to finish it. That giant statue on the right is make me feel comfortable. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Bergen as my royal advisor. 
Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. Don't know why it's frozen. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter so of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? You! Can I? Beto, yeah. I forgot his name. What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart. Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Emin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzerville. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Sira Bar Anahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our queen left to powder her nose. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Nguyen. A court of law will reveal the traitors. Oh, he's dead.
Oh, I just failed the inscripted. Apparently, that this guy is the key to our freedom, but I, I can deal with him. I thought he already dealt with that. Okay, sorry, we're going to have to... I, I want the marks as completed. So if we... Just pop back here, I'll go back to Bra. And... Uh... It is him I have to go to, right? Yeah. I saw I got my reward. Is game fucking with me? I got rid of exit. Okay, it seems I must have reloaded at one stage, and the when I reloaded it didn't... Um, I hadn't done it in the reloaded version. There we go. It just I could I would be denying myself a bit of XP, so I figured, no, may as well not do that. It's only a small bit, but still, uh, probably gain a level now, maybe, from uh, seeing that cutscene. Oh, sorry, I was actually. Poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis the First, son of Demavend the Third, became the seventeenth king of Edern. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Huh. I guess... Nearly being lynched was actually quite a had a quite a positive effect on him. Hey, doggy. I see you... Yes. Time. Whether you like no. to the master. Well when they said My that King their queen was I gone to powder her nose. What is the uh, she was actually man. still there. He could be in the cutscene, so it was kinda of strange. There, see? Kind of a maybe she was meant to have left after they after he said that, but it just kind of looks like he said it while she, her model is still there. We're trapped! I can't get through! Sheila! You must get Sheila! And I'm not sure where Yorvis is meant to have been. He's down there. How, wait, how did he get over there? That makes no sense. Like we would have been here. How the fuck did he end up there? And same with the the uh, the other guy. Turn back while you can, Witcher. Nope. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. I think gravity will have it some down. Something to say there. If I have to, I will kill you. If I have to, I'll kill you. Have you not my dragon? I don't. I should have used potions. You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Sempasis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. 
I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Voltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss, and you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Um. Farewell! Something's not right! Ha! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! Should we? No? Sorry, lady. Have oh, fun. The diamond. Remove the diamond. I'll give you anything you want. No? No! No! Fuck yeah. Smug asshole. Whoa, shit. Down. What? Well, I can't go down? Um, what do I do? What do I do? I'm not prepared. Using, holding this sword because it gives me that little bit of extra regen. Okay, I'm... <sighs> Meant to be a dagger, it's marked as a steel sword. Never did... Oh, wrong thing. I probably need a particular time to use it. So I'm going to stick with the other one. If that's what I figure anyway. Oh, it's it's steel. Oh, actually, in that case, I can leave that equipped, and it's no big deal. No, wait. I was keeping the other sword equipped for the regen. Okay, I'm probably dead here. Damn it! Damn it, Saskia! You know, I I was just thinking back. Remember when Saskia? Remember I was hung with Saskia. Um, remember when Saskia's revealed to be a dragon and all that, and uh, or earlier on, and I was like talking about the different things of it, and I got kind of confuzzled at one stage. Uh, the thing is, I was overthinking it basically. I'm just still thinking about that now. 
And I was just like, yeah, I was just fucking overthinking it. How many more can there be? Only one. Twenty-five armor. Fuck. Yeah. Just landed on the ceiling there for a moment. Damn it. Fucking fire. Okay, I know what I must do. Okay. Back right before I enter the place. I'm gonna drink a potion, and then when we skip through all those cutscenes... Uh... Once we skip through all those cutscenes, um, um, meditation. Uh, we should still have plenty of time left on the uh, this, and then I can skip through most of the conversation with her, and all should be well. I don't know if I've Anne here though. Ooh, oh. No, no, I'm sorry. I misread that. I read that in an inverted sort of way. I thought that uh, made me better, uh, more resistant to incineration. I like, reduced damage to incineration kind of thing. This game feels... I uh, know. Even though this has gone on for as long as Witcher 1, it almost feels shorter than Witcher 1. It's probably because this is three chapters rather than... Um, you know, five and a prologue. There might may still yet be a prologue, I wouldn't know. Wish I could respect my talent slightly, because uh, uh, there's some things I would like to get right now. I see you. Yes. What? what? <laughs> Geralt! We're trapped! Sheila! You must get Sheila! Still plenty of time here on the left on the potions. For the best, really is. Damn it, Saskia. Turn back while you can, Witcher. Let's try and save her. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. Can we go down the tower? No. This does look lovely though. Point of no return. If I have to, I will kill you. Rude. Oh, yeah. How do you like my I don't. How to train your Saskia? Move. Keep rolling. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just okay. beginning. Phone just bing bonged again. Farewell. Something's not right. Ah. Someone replace the diamond. This one's flawed. I'll be torn to bits. Geralt, remove it. No. Sit back and enjoy the show, the folks. Remove the diamond. I'll give you anything you want.
Ooh, ow. Rude. Ah, damn it, Road. Stop pirouetting and just hit the f bastard. Does Ard even do. No, Ard doesn't do that. Yeah, kinda not surprising, really. Is there a fire resistant potion? Uh, resistance potion, I should say. I'm resistant. Damn it. Come on. Wish we could have gotten Triss. Hopefully she's fine. Better be. Come on! Somehow that didn't hurt Geralt. Ow. Damn it, Saskia. You're paying my medical bills. Ow. I'm getting... Being careless. Damn it. Yeah, I'm getting too careless and re reckless. And you need to play more sensibly. Not going to because that's not an attack. Uh, pop it. Oh, that went well. Pop it. Ow. Pop it. Ow. Pop it. So I'll need to be a lot cheekier than I probably should be. Dan. Ow. Pop it. We can go up. Yeah, we, we go up this way. Up. Oh, this is fitting. Pop it. Can't save here either. Makes sense. Mid, mid fight. Ooh. Wonder if this is the point we're meant to uh, cast it. No, I don't. I'm dead. Yeah. There's no way I can uh, survive this. Region just doesn't, just doesn't last long enough. Ah! I was noticing in the bottom right it said mortally wound. The two times my shielding absorbed it. Did I really get a checkpoint here? That was really generous game. Thank you. 
That was actually it's seriously nice. Come on. Okay. Damn it. Well, at least in the first stage, there was a safe zone you could. Yeah. There was a safe zone you could reach. Here, not so much, it seems. Okay, this is different. I was expecting, you know, that. Hey, go in. Ah, keep, keep getting cheeky. Keep getting too greedy, trying to take too much. Move. Nah. The him getting up slowly meant she can get the other thing off. Yeah, I'm getting too greedy. That's my issue. Hopefully you can hear me. It just, uh, the audio is too loud in my ears, so I'm figuring it's probably... I keep end up thinking it's too loud for you, but it's fine. Oh. Probably has to run out of wash. You know, as a dragon. You know, while. Oh, it's, you can just, you know, get some of the hoser down. Ow. Oh, big close, 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 close. Get one hit, move. Get another hit, move. Hit. Ow. Don't have a answer to that. Other than, you know, simply get away fast enough. I did not mean to go for those extra hits, but they worked out, so I'm happy. I know I'm seeing the figures too. No, I think I chose the wrong command. Well, not wrong command, but maybe I did the wrong thing. Cause this seems like I'm just gonna kill her rather than save her. Oh no. What I wanted. Pent, but didn't it need to pierce our heart? And it be covered in blood?
I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. Uh, we'll go with this. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Grolt did actually meet another dragon once. He was buddies with him. He used to travel together. Let's bring the her up. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to say all of it. Let's say this. Philippa took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could reveal your secret? It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, but I shall leave that to fate. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control, as soon as she's done licking her wounds. I shall be cautious next time. And I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. More than she would wish? Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. We were close. And Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. Fair enough. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Tretanmer, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. <laughs> hmm. Polymorphing. Did you get that from him? Just a hint of it. I can only assume one human form. He could transform into anyone he liked. You also don't have his quickness and reflexes. And I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Bork these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. It's a synthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being sassy. It's certainly easier to pronounce. Tell me what'll happen to Jorvik now. Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own, and perhaps, a few generations on, humans will forget. Did you intend just to use him? Geralt, Jorvik has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting. We shared a cause, fought side by side. Jorvik did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? There will always be a place for the Scoia'tael in the free Pontar Valley. As to Jorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I found dwarves. Fascinating. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. I, I, I have no, nothing to add to that. I just, I'm enjoying this conversation. I am. Sheila and Philip have lost. I just wish it was higher. It's too low in my ears now. Good, though temporary. I fear we shall hear of them again. Not sure. We know Emir's armies have crossed the Yoruga. I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian lords and Hensel. With a bit of luck, we'll defeat the Emperor as well. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Vergen. I underline guest. Don't worry, I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. 
And sometimes it's better to be surprised. Farewell, Witcher. Christ. I was hoping he was just uh, propped up against it, not going through him, but no, no, it's going through him. Can we punch him as well? Or especially, in this case, it seems. There is an epilogue. <laughs> what happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. <laughs> what about Letho? Strange thing. He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody spectacle. The players? There were many. At first, it was a hunt for the traitors, but it soon turned into a hunt for all mages. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. The pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilf Guardians? Remained neutral. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. That's a neutrality of a sort. Christ. At least we got to save what's her face. Uh, Saskia. I like her. Are you dead? You're dead too. Yeah, I don't think anyone here has survived. When we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Oh, we saw her earlier. Elf! Kill the non-human. <laughs> uh. Oh! Hit the wrong button. For my raging boner! Oh, I'm using the wrong, really damn, damn wrong sword. Wrong sword. Oh, sorry, put it away. Did not mean to do so. I want to apologize. I think I got a powerful back attack. Be 
beasts! Bloody sons of bitches! Will you be all right? Yes, thank you. Leave me. What happened here? When the summit ended. We hid in one of the houses. But they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells. But I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. Lafreen has changed. That's what it looks like now. Nope, can't argue with that. Put the sword away. Not that way. Oh, we climb? Oh, there's a door right here. People we gambled with before are likely dead. I think I heard something. Imperial troops. Wonder if what uh, there are other pe. Uh, Long live the you know the other guy. I wonder if he's still alive. You know the guy who gave me the gargoyle, who paid for the gargoyle contract. Him. With them frozen, they're pretty much nice. They're not quite open to any attack, but they're so much easier to hit. It's beautiful. When he is an auto targeting around them. Ow. Don't get any XP from these guys. Silver ring. Mm. Took, took ages for stuff like that to drop. It really feels like this game is only like. No, no, I don't want to say half done, uh, half there, but it, it feels like it almost feels shorter than it really is, you know. Christ. I story. I managed to sneak into the Nilf Guardian camp. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. That was good of him. Though in general was... has Triss been... oh Christ. Bloody hell. This is insanity. Wonder if how our rat catcher is and wonder how a rat catcher is doing. Oh, Chris ain't doing well. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Are you alright? Yes. He saved me from the Nilf Guardians. And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. Oh, this is getting good, and it's... Oh, Christ, it's half five. I meant to be in bed an hour and a half ago. I started recording late, but the game's just done. And fantastic ass, as always. Ah, he changed the diamond. I approve. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. 
The one in the megascope has a flaw, minute, but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. It was, 10 out of 10. Good. Had she lived, she would have suffered more intensely and much longer. She helped me quite a bit, through naivety and pride. I would not have gotten far without her. Hmm. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. I couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The winter solstice, 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letha wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. That's dizzying. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. Remember the hanged man's tree in the wild hunt. Remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. So I was hopping so I can hire the audio, because as far as I can tell, I couldn't do it while in game. I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, Mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. 
Imperial secret police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Batia Derrido. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. That's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big news. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead and enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, you know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. This is so damn tense. God damn. How did a witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the school of the Viper. The Witcher's Order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the south fell into ruin long ago. The Witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Ceres and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Hmm. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well... And a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. K. 
kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion would say. Actually, yeah. Uh, um, there is a... Uh, that was actually... Said, I think that was actually said by... Uh, Foltest. Or maybe he just said... Talk about Vizima being a whorehouse. Can't remember. Need the whole. Need to. Uh, need to know the whole picture. Or just ask it. Then the rest of it. We're listening to all of this. Then we're fighting him. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Shira, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demabend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido. The Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia. And without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. How do you manage to slay Demavan? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk, but it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers, and we wouldn't have if not for Yorveth Skyatel, another of Sheila's ideas. With Yorveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the Lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. How did you know Foltest would come to the Monastery Solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalet sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when the castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. 
Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltis, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed to recognize an old friend. When did you decide to get rid of Yorvin? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Scoia'tael were protecting you. Maybe, but with your breath, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and your breath. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. No. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind, or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. You screwed up with Henselt. Sabrina's curse tore that down. First off, we got holed up in that hideout in the ravines. Then Sheila showed up and started watching Henselt like he was her own ass. By that time, his death was no longer necessary. Fate had smiled upon us again. I learned of the summit and the efforts to reconstitute the Council and Conclave. The ideal setting for the mission's grand finale. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Wanna fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. Forgetting one thing, misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight, and this time I'll kill you. Fight. Ready. As I'll ever be. You fear death. Stop fighting and fight. What does it feel like to be almost dead? I said fight. Now I'm much more capable of fighting this guy than the first time around. Okay, I said much more capable, I exaggerated. Not nearly much more capable. Christ, that's barbaric. Ugh. Where even is it? Oh, he's after getting stuck in terrain. Oh, damn, I was holding down T instead of R. Oh, damn it.
have some... Damn it. Please ignite him. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, hard fight, but you know what? Part of me feels like maybe we should let him go. Fear death. But at the same time, part of me is feeling like, what does it feel like you know, you know, he's dead. Fight. All of this shit is because of him. I kind of doubt he's going to get frozen. Damn. He hits much harder now, as you'd expect. I was kind of hoping it would still be as burly as it was last time, with me so much more uh, capable. That way, it'd be so much easier for me. Managed to hurt him for four? Probably just hit the shield. You know, I'm still not nearly as leveled up as I expected. Given all the skill points and whatnot, I was kind of expecting to be able to brand, you know, all the titles have more, you know? Of any bomb, I can't be near his poison one. That's that was debilitating before. Wolf has teeth, and yeah. they're sharp. I better. I can tell already. Of course you can. You tire quickly. Damn, I was slightly slow on the uh, clicking. Uh, annoying. No potions going. At least I have this sword. The sword does boost regen. His shielding's gone. Oh, Ard! Back off. Need my uh, thing to re regen. I don't want to kill you, and I'll kill you gladly. You're nowhere near my level. Of course not. I'm no Kingslayer. Mm, kings are worth a lot of XP. That chest over there has got me interested. Got a lucky shot in. Bleeding was painful, but not as painful as it could have been. Overshot. It's tough now, sh shielding. Come on. Damn it. But the, remember with the mages, the their shooting didn't matter. I was ho I'm hoping I keep hoping it'll be the same with him. But it never is. Da His Igni fire bombs and poison bombs are three attacks that I have to miss. Uh, I have to dodge. They have to miss. Otherwise they will kill me. I can take a sword strike, I can even take a bleed, but I can't take that. Nice. 
move. At least this time we got a much bigger arena to play with. It actually makes the fight easier. I've had enough of this dance. Goodbye, Geralt. Sadly, I'm not getting it back. It's ha yes, eat it. Voting. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lorito amongst the latter. Lorito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edder, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edder, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds have been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Voltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. A tempest descended on the north, 
at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed maidens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respect. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia? Oh god, um, and that, folks, was wi The Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings, Enhanced Edition. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. Keep in mind, this was my very first playthrough through it, which is why I probably didn't comment on some things that I should have commented on or even wanted to comment on, because I was so overwhelmed by it. I'm just so like, yes, it's awesome! <laughs> what was I gonna say? <laughs> and, yeah. So I'm really happy about this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm after really enjoying it. So, um, thank you to everyone who did work on this game. It was a fantastic experience. And I can't wait to see Witcher 3. I was actually expecting to see Roach or something. But no, he was sent south across the river. I figure he'll probably turn up in the third game. You'd hope so, anyway. Same with Yorvet. It's really disappointing that what's his face didn't turn up. You know, um, um oh, I was saying this in Witcher One. Remember the uh, city guard guy uh, in uh, Vizima? Yeah, he never turns up. Also, remember the elf that fled the hunt? Yeah, it's. I think. Hold on, I'm just trying to turn off my radiator. I think he was. Um, remember the elf? He fled. Uh, we like we got his sword. And he fled the hunt or whatever. I think that was the guy who Grawl sold his soul to. Maybe it was a different one. It's just the way they were saying it made me think. Maybe it's they're trying to imply it's the same person character. But regardless, um, Christ, Grawl across with Rambo. Um, But yeah, thank you to everyone who worked on this. It was a great experience. Well, I, I did have my uh, issues with it, but it, it, it was a fantastic time. I really did enjoy it. Um, and I, like I said, I can't wait for Witcher 3. Which, uh, the way I'm saying it is as if Witcher 3 hasn't come out yet. I haven't downloaded it yet, is the issue. The Witcher 3 has long since been out. Uh, apparently there's been time for people to play like three times through, if not more. So it's, yeah, it's been out for a while. Um, I'll be, af once I'm done here, I'm going to go set it to download, then I'm heading to bed. So I've stayed awake for way too long. Way, way too long. So. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this series, folks. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed Witcher 2. I sincerely hope, in general, you've enjoyed the Witcher videos that I've been putting out. And I do hope you join me again for Witcher 3. Well, about to join me again. Join me for the third and final installment in the Witcher series. As far as I know, it is going to be the final one. I just I remember hearing they said they were taking a break from Witcher. So that kind of implies that they might come back to it. But regardless, um, for now we'll say it's the the final one. 
regardless of whatever may or may not happen in the future. This is the final one. So. Yeah, I do hope you join me for that. Because this has been one hell of a road. And, yeah, I'm not skipping for any of these. Um, I want all these people to have their little bit of time in this spot. Every single one of them. That, the CFO there, that's one hell of a name. There's even Trojan right in the middle of it. Huh. But yeah, the game is actually rather tempting to try and play through it again from and make different choices. But that's the kind of thing I might do in the distant future. Give it a couple of years, might come back and replay Witcher 2. Might use the same save from Witcher 1 and just uh, make different choices. Maybe go the Roach path and stick with him. Um, see, see what happens. So, yeah. Uh, we would like to extend a hearty thank you to our wives, husbands, significant others, and children, large and small. In brief, to our loved ones, for the patience they showed and the support they provided throughout the time we worked on The Witcher 2. This game is likewise your achievement. I've been listening to a ton of The Witcher 3 music. I've been on kick for it, and it, it is lovely. It is beautiful. Um... Like, uh, the Grawl has three different combat te music teams. Uh, steel, uh, Hunter Be Hunted, Steel is for Humans, Silver is for Monsters. Those are the three ones, and they're lovely. Apparently, the steel, someone was saying the Steel for Humans one was meant to be like a wedding song? Or something? I've no bloody clue. Uh, it's something someone said online, so of course it must be true. I, 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 I don't want to touch anything in case, you know, I can skip it. In some cases, you can speed up the ending credits, but I... I don't want to mess with Anne either. <sighs> you know, we haven't seen what's her face in the entire game. Ada. I guess it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping we would. We did get. Well, you know, the other guy married to her. So, well, we get her married to the other guy. And he's been in the game a bit, a little bit, just there at the end. And we haven't seen her at all. So, I was, I was kind of hoping. It's just she was important in the first game, so, you know. I'm like, it's kind of the same case with, you know, the city guard guy. You know, it's kind of nice to see the old faces pop up again, you know. Uh, same with Siegfried. I hope we get to see him again. People are saying he'll fit in well with the Blood and Wine expansion for Witcher 3. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, but um, I'm not sh uh, I'm not sure if he has ever actually added into it. Part of me kind of hopes they come back out with an expansion for Witcher 3. And add in all the things that you like, just didn't go ahead with. Like, you know, remember the tank for the city guard and whatnot. Just give him something. Uh, bring Siegfried into it, you know. Just, I, I, I know I haven't played Witcher 3 yet, but it's just a case of greatest hits of Witcher, you know? Well, not greatest hits, but just to see the old faces again, you know? Sounds like this, I'm glad I'm just editing all these together. Otherwise, you know, I feel, I'm, a, I'm feeling right now that, that these credits may take up uh, two videos. Like, since, you know, this is a finale thing, I'm going to edit uh, so many videos together for it. 
I can't say how many, but it's basically from a certain point on, like, um, when I break uh, Philip out, maybe. Or, yeah, probably from around then, when I break her out, um, uh, to the end will be all one episode. That may be two hours long, but you get two hours. It's the finale to Witcher 2. I want it done justice. But at the same time, it's now quarter, quarter past six, and I'm being, I'm waking up at like 11 or 12, being woken, um, you know, like the alarm is set for 11 or 12, so I can't remember which. I mean, it could be set, could have set it for both. <laughs> Details, but you know, it's, it's a bit late. A bit early. Take your pick. I really hope we see more of your vet in the third game. I'll be disappointed if we don't. I can kind of guess why this game feels shorter than the other game, you know? Because um, when it came to the other game, the first game, uh, the choices you made didn't really affect, well, they did impact the, the, the future acts to one degree or another. Um, they did have an impact in like the areas you saw but you didn't for example like with witcher 2 if i sided with roach we'll be on the other side of the mist barrier and the thing will be different you know we would have different people talking to us um well i suppose you can say the same thing about the other like witcher 1 but it's a uh, it's not as, you know, well, Witcher 2 has a more drastic case of it. Um, you know, we're, we have a different quest hub, that kind of thing, so. You know, maybe that's the reason for it. Or maybe this game just didn't, maybe it's just my perception of it, you know? Maybe this game is plenty long enough as it is, and just my perception of it feels shorter. I know it's a three-axe and a prologue to five-axe and a prologue, but... Maybe if you, you know, compare them, you know, side by side, maybe, you know, they're, you know, fair lengths. Well, he's roughly same lengths, you know. Maybe it's just a perception thing, or maybe the game really is shorter. And I was just offering the, you know, the, how you can have an, a, a, com a completely different act to a chapter two. You know, maybe that's a factor in there, you know? Who knows? I'm talking on my arse because I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I swear Triss sounded differently to me in this game. In th to the first. Part of me also swear she looks slightly different. But that may be because, you know, she's wearing vastly different clothes to the first game. For example, she's actually wearing a bra now. Christ, we're only in the voice actors. Sorry, I don't mean to be impatient here. It's just, again, I'm just feeling like it is a bit late right now. So yeah, I've been thinking of having a year of Witcher. So, as I was saying earlier, early on in this series, um, in this playthrough, a year of Witcher. After that, uh, whatever I do afterwards, uh, be it Dungeons Each Two or you know the Fallout games, what I'll be doing is um, doubling up on the videos to compensate for, to help uh, undermine the backlog, basically. For, as but right now, since I'm releasing a 20-minute video a day, 
Um, basically what that means is if for every hour I record, I get three videos for three days. So for every hour is equal to three days work videos, basically. But if I record, if you get 40 minutes a day, then that means two day, uh, two, sorry, two hours is equal to three days videos. So if I record an eight hour session, uh, what was, what would that be again? Um, sorry, I, I want to make sure the numbers are right. Uh, I, considering I'm trying to keep talking and remember what I'm saying and whatnot, I can't, I just can't even do simple maths in my head right now. Uh, so 24 videos. Um, instead of being 24, it's 12. So instead of covering 24 days, I only cover 12 days. The backlog is substantially reduced. So I think that would be a good idea. Plus, if I'm, say, playing something like um, excuse me, uh, Fallout 1, 2, Tactics, um, I do believe the game would benefit from a longer video went. Of course, uh, saying that, I don't really have much experience with those games. When I was younger, I tried to play Fallout 1, and I went there saying, oh, go to this vault. I went straight to the vault, got slaughtered on my way by a rad scorpion. I don't think I even had my gun equipped. So, uh, yeah, it didn't exactly go well. Ah, and here's the English voice actors. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really have much experience with the game. I did watch um, Day 9's playthrough of it. I didn't watch all of it, I watched a substantial portion of it. Um, do I remember all the details? No. But saying that, I did spoil a lot of it, my, a lot of it on myself via the wiki. So, yeah. So, uh, it's not really a blind playthrough. I've spoiled all the uh, Fallout games on myself via listening to fans. Well, actually not tactics, but 1, 2, excuse me, 3, f f and f New Vegas, and 4. Excuse me. Um, I've spoiled them all on myself. So, um, uh, tactics is the only one to be spared, so only that's going to be kind of a blind playthrough. Though saying that, even if they're not... Even if I know events that happen in it, it's still somewhat blind. Yeah, like I've never played it, I'm not used to the mechanics of it, I'm not used to the other storylines that take place, you know, that kind of thing. I may know a gist of sorts, um, but, you know, I don't know everything. Plus how much I remember is another matter entirely. <sighs> They watch plenty of like Fallout lore videos as well. So, yeah. Remember playing Fallout 3 when I was a lot younger. Remember again stuck on Mothership Zeta. Um, hit a point where I couldn't, re a point of no return, and I kept dying to an enemy. I had no healing items, and I was fighting one of the abominations. And they were just, you know, hard as balls. Plus, I think I had been reduced to using one of the alien weapons. Maybe they shot ricochets, and I think it also kept hurting me as well. Maybe it was purely the enemy. I'm not sure. You know, one fear I have with credits is I don't really keep good track of them. I may recognize certain points within them, but that'll be as far as I go. And uh, so I'm always worried that I will see that basically they will go. Is it is the director's surname Frisch? Probably saying that wrong, but. Um, was that what France was called? Whatever. Uh, basically, that I will, you know, it'll go around. It'll, you know, I'll be on my second round through before I realize um, that. That's the case. You know? Um, like, say if I only recognize the 
uh, voice actors. I might, if it starts cycling around, I might think, like, oh, it hasn't done this bit yet, even though it has. So it's always a worry. I don't think anyone ever cycles their thing, though. The background stuff, yeah, but this stuff, I don't think they bother with that. Bloody hell. So I'm just looking at these names and it's just like... I... I have no idea what they're even trying to say. <laughs> the only language I'm anyway skilled with is English. So, uh... Yeah, Russian... Nah, uh, that's... That's a bit beyond me. I'm not even sure what letter that is. The... In the first name for testing and Q&A. The fourth letter. It's just puzzling to me, you know? I'm assuming Neto there is Leto. Judging by how the, like, the tree name tank, like, the amount of words there are, I think the first name was, you know, maybe the Lafayette guy? The, um, one who turns up at the end? Maybe that was him. Yeah, I obviously can't be sure. I'm just guessing by there was three names there, and I think he's the only one with three words to his name. So, yeah. Okay, it's, 20, it's now 25 past 6. If this goes on for too much longer, I will have to... Stop it. Um, I do like to give everyone their bit of time in the spotlight because they uh, have done fantastic work. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of need to stop recording at some stage. This seems to go on to the end of you know the heat death of the universe. I don't blame you if you're still not watch if you're not actually watching this, and I'm utterly surprised if you are. Like seriously, well done. Most of your sisters aren't there at the end. Probably not. Bloody hell, this is taking ages. Oh Christ, <laughs> are we going into another language? Oh God, I stopped to just tweet ab about that I finished, oh I just finished Witcher 2, now just waiting for the, you know, credits to stop rolling. I think I've been here at least 20 minutes so far.
So, for those, you know, keeping track at home, it's going to the 27th of December 2017. So, yeah. Uh, 27th of December 2017, this was recorded on. So, yeah, backlog. You can see well now why I'm interested in um, trying to reduce the backlog. So I'm just bing bonged there for a moment. Someone is already after liking the tweet. Oh my god, it just never stops. Sex with the Energizer Bunny just keeps going and going and going. Seems someone else is scared of, you know, credits looping. I don't think these loop. I think this is going well so far. Come on, just please come to an end. Okay, they've made it on to the GOG stuff, and which I think is a hint that it's nearly done. Okay, this text makes it really look like it's near the end. I don't know what the nun is about. I think maybe if you're logged into GOG, it, it, it put, inserts your player name there to thank you for it. But since I'm not logged into GOG, it doesn't. I'm playing off my... Uh, maybe I am logged into GOG. I'm not sure. I've bloody no idea. 
I didn't open the game via the, the GOG Galaxy launcher. I opened it from the desktop and I play, used Play as Administrator. Wait one sec. Something. War, war never changes. The world, as we make, as we know, nears its end. Yet the past remains the key to the future. Water witchers, if not relics of the past. There's also this arena to combat tournament mini game. I might fiddle with that at some stage. Not sure right now. So. Um, actually did get a little distracted during that cutscene, uh, my phone lit up, someone had uh, tweeted at me, so, um, but to be honest, I'm probably just being, I, I get obsessive, I have to like, make sure I see like every hair fall go on an actor's face, otherwise I miss the scene, I am just get obsessive, I'm immensely exaggerating, but whatever. So anyway folks, anyway, if you've stayed with me through that entire thing, I sincerely hope you did enjoy it a little bit at the end. Actually, to be honest, the guy in the face kind of reminds me of someone I used to go to school with. I wonder how he's doing. Oh. Either way, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this series so far. Well, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed The Witcher 2, and I sincerely hope you join me for The Witcher 3. We're going and doing that soon. As in, when, I'm when I hit the stop button here, I'm hitting the download button there. If I have room for it. Uh, of course, you know, if I have room, fucking room for the game. Uh, so I sincerely hope you enjoy this. I sincerely hope you will come back for more. Come back for Witcher 3. Do hope you join me for that, because I can't wait to see more. I will, I, I can't wait to see it, and I hope you join me on the journey, you know? So, till then, folks, 
I bid you farewell. Does anything you'd like to say? Um, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I keep in mind the you know the time difference, but this is 2017 when recorded, 2019 when it's released, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, just yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah. So till then, folks. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. Till then, I bid you farewell. You're gonna carry that weight. <laughs>